Yo, this is Binky the Hunter. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna test some Lynx locations. I got asked to do that actually. I kind of have the idea I already and know the outcome of this video, but I'm gonna test it anyway because I promised. I was asking if there was a good spot, a specific spot for a tree stand where you can put up where you can find Lynx consistently, but. I doubt that because there's not many links on the map. They spread out quite a lot over a huge area, so finding a consistent area is, I think, impossible. I think the best thing you should do for links is just walk around, find tracks, listen for that meow, and go from there. Maybe take a tree stand. It does. It is very handy to have a tree stand. Tree stand hunting for links makes it a lot easier when you can put it up because they can stand underneath it. Oh, and I forgot some stuff already. I see the damn woodcocks. I keep forgetting the stuff for them on the collar and the weapon. So I should actually go back. But how I'm testing this, I made some some spots here I want to test. This is the spot that the guy said that might be a good spot where he found a lot of tracks. So I'm going to test this one. Here was somebody in my Discord who said he found them here consistently. But I want to test it as well. I doubt that to be honest. And down here, this spot, kind of uh, in the beta server, I had a few times I found some links here, and quite lucky probably, but I thought I put one up here as well, so I have three, three locations that I'm kind of going to test, so first gonna frost over here, then here, and then down here, hunt them all half an hour or something, and then see where it goes from there. So... That's what we're gonna do, but first I need to go back because I'm a pancake, I forgot half my equipment already. So, bring you back when uh, we get into the lynx hunting. And here's the result of my first test. This was absolutely a useless test. I tested all three the locations I just showed you and I started at 5 o'clock in the morning. But as you can see, absolutely not a single lynx in sight and absolutely no useful animals inside only thing i recorded was this one hmm if only you didn't have three broken pedals <laughs> that's some nice tops but now here's the results of the second try and here I started at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And here it becomes a little bit more interesting. Here we got something else I wanted to test. <coughs> Hello Mr. Reindeer. There's a reindeer at the base of my tree stand. I'm gonna leave it there. Earlier I heard a meow from a lynx from that direction somewhere. So I'm curious, it should also startle the reindeer when it comes cro close, just like just like the white-tailed deer and the deer when the bobcat gets close. So, And I use those kind of as a watchdog at the base of my tree stand. They give away when the lynx or when the bobcat comes close, and you can even see what direction it comes from. So I'm curious, hey, uh, there's a lynx. What's he doing? I see him run circles again. Pancake. Let's see what happens. He will keep running probably until right next to my e collar. So let's turn it off. It's a female by the looks of it. But, but yeah, you don't really care, do you? And let me see when I call him closer. Uh, I do have to spray on me, no? No. <sighs> Idiot. Never mind. Let me turn that on again. But you don't really seem to care about the links, do you? The, lick, the wiki is lying. <laughs> and she comes closer. Uh, you're not going anywhere. Stay here. She is 
cooperating for this test. He's coming right for the reindeer, so let's see what happens. Footsteps, but barely. <laughs> the same as with the bobcat. Ten meters away. But yeah, I don't know. Don't think Mr. Reindeer cares about the lynx. Nah. I think the reindeer spooked because of this, but I'm not sure. Could also be the lynx that spooked, by the way. It was 10 meters, but I doubt it. I had them at the base of my tree stand before without them spooking, so. But yeah, this test only gave me more question marks, to be honest, so. <laughs> Great! And here comes our friend again. So I can do first part of the little test. Was it me that spooked him? Let's see, what did I do? Change weapons or something? <laughs> Sorry for this uh, making you seasick, but... Hmm, doesn't seem I spook him or something. Wait, this was the thing that happened. No. <laughs> Must have been something something with the links then. Maybe it was too close to uh, uh not too close but that was maybe the e-caller or something that spooked him. I don't know. It's kind of on a weird spot. I put it way over there on the edge, but I'm not sure. That links also was a bit weird. You saw how he came in. He made the, he ran those circles there. They do that sometimes. I'm not sure if that's uh, supposed to be, but they do that more often. I do have the idea that's a bug or something. But this reindeer wasn't the cause of the spooking earlier. That's for sure, because it would have been gone now as well, I guess. Hmm. I have no idea should try to do this test again. Shoot the bastard. That's a terrible shot. Oh well, we'll find him. Let's go find that Lynx first. And then we'll track him. We hit intestine on the links, but that was expected. I shot it right up the ass, so... <laughs> Here's our links. Didn't go far at all. Tiny. Females are absolutely worthless. No, absolutely worthless. Not worth much. It gave me second in the links competition, but that's probably because there's only two entries so far. I had a road air call, so let's do that as well. Mail, so and then after that we're gonna find the reindeer. But I won't show that. And I won't show this road deer either unless it's something interesting. There we got another lynx. Finally. Three hours in the test or something on my second lynx, so 
I think my conclusion is already clear. <laughs> tree stand, so, well, fixed tree stand, don't really work for links. There's just too few on the map, so I think the best thing you can do with links is just cover a lot of ground, uh, track them if you get the chance, or listen for that meow sound. That's what gives them away mostly. That's why I heard this one was coming from that direction. And one other thing that helps, that gave this one away as well, why I saw it, was the the little smoke puff they do when they breed, so the condensation from their breeding. That kind of gives them away, but they're very sneaky. They blend in very well, they come in very slowly, so they're sneaky bastards. But this is another female, so... Not very happy with that, that's not good for my competition. There she is. Thank you. Not a weird thing. I shot a move, oh now it's moving. That move, uh, moose was standing there for 10 minutes <laughs> on the, exactly the same spot, so. I shot his brother earlier, terrible shot, missed the heart, so that's probably a long shot. But yeah, I don't know what he was doing there, guess he liked that little tree. <laughs> Here's our lynx, smaller than the last one, hey 50 kills with my own bow, <laughs> wow. Nice. Hey. That's a pretty decent moose. Nice. Not what I'm here for, but that's the Hunter Classic, right? You always find what you're not looking for. <laughs> Look at it. Big moves in this game look <laughs> so cool. A bit over the top, but that's what makes them so cool. Hey, come on, my mouse is a bit weird. Thank you. Hey. There's another lynx, another female. Yep. Ladies' night. This one actually came in without ever making a meow or sound, so I had no idea. Uh, don't think she's gonna come much closer. I think I better take this shot. Let's see, 20 meters. No, that's 30 meters or 25. Mm, not the best shot, but. She won't go far. Nope. <laughs> it's the same reindeer from last hunt. Three broken pedals. Almost same score estimate. Hey. Interesting. Can I shoot her real quick. Force that fifty meters. Nice. Oh. Arrow. Ah, I'm an idiot. Oh, wait. Good thing we also got that thing. And that's a very sad bull. 
160 to 230. Hmm. I'm gonna shoot that. Thank you. And you as well, you're asking for it. And lower edit. Nice. <laughs> I wanted to go harvest everything, but then I heard a meow very close, so there's another lynx coming somewhere. I only don't know what direction it's gonna come from. There or there. So I better keep my eyes open. Another female. It really is ladies' night today. Hello. That's all RNG. That could also be males, of course, but not my lucky day. <laughs> Here comes another reindeer. Hello. We'll drop you as well. Thank you. Mm, that one on the right looks pretty decent. That was not the best shot. That's a single long shot probably. Now let me go harvest because it was getting late I see. Only 15 minutes before the day resets so I won't bother you with everything. I'll just pick up the big moose on camera and the rest uh, we'll take for granted. Let's see what do you score. It looks nice. Two oh five point eight. Well, I'm gonna take a trophy shot of that because it's been a while since I shot a, a 200 plus moose, so... And here he is, nice looking moose. And I know I got the wrong bow in my hands, but I switched it out and forgot about that before I entered trophy shot mode, so... Okay. I did some more of these tests but nothing is consistent kind of as I expected so I think the best thing you can do is you can of course build a few tree stands with a uh, for links but don't expect any consistent results the best thing you can do is in my opinion just walk around cover a lot of ground and go I'm started at this lodge now but you need to go to this area that side of the map so kind of stay a bit on that side uh, yeah, here in the middle you also find some, but on that side of the map is your best option. So go there and just track them or yeah, listen to that meow. I'll show you that meow. I it took me forever to get it on video, but I did it in the end. So let's uh, let me show you what I mean. And that was the normal call they make and you can just register that registers on your hunter mate so if you hear that you can pick it up and you see on your hunter mate where it come from but they also have another sound the meow I always call that you heard me say that a few times in this video and that one is not that one doesn't register on your hunter mate so you kind of have to listen from what direction it comes from And there you could hear it really clear. It was very close, so but you can hear that sound from very far away as well. And then it's just very faint, but you do hear it. And that's, in my opinion, that's one of the best ways. Well, not the best ways, but that's very handy when you're hunting them. That mostly gives away if there's one in the area. So that's really helpful. 
and like I said you can hear what direction it comes from but only down part is you saw me earlier in the video uh, I wasn't sure which direction it came from and when you're when it comes from straight in front of you or behind you you don't really hear a direction so then it can get confusing what when it comes from the left or for the from the right you can hear very clearly where it comes from so that's very helpful with hunting lynx and also with the bobcats that's very ha handy so that's a good tip I think next the weapons you're allowed to use for lynx easiest choice is just the starter weapons actually the Torf 243 is perfectly suited to hunt these lynx and also any buckshot and you get the 12 gauge single shot for free so that's actually a perfect weapon to shoot lynx with next is of course any bow and that's ideal for when you're hunting tree stands as well but when you're not using tree stand while you're hunting lynx this might be a better option using a crossbow because you can stay prone and shoot it and lynx are pretty skittish so I think this is your best option when you're hunting them without a tree stand next weapons that are well suited for this is the 223 you have this one the bolt action rifle but there's also the automatic that shoots way faster so most people prefer that one uh, another one I like a lot is the 17 HMR make sure you use the high velocity ammo otherwise you get disqualified that's another good choice and finally one I mostly take for lynx and also fox and stuff I love this little thing the 357 it kind of allows you it's very light you can put it in your backpack quite easily it mostly doesn't it doesn't take much room much capacity and it's an ideal weapon because you can shoot deer with it but also the fox and the bobcats and even goose and turkeys so it's kind of a yeah, small caliber very light little pistol so I love it for I love taking it for lynx as well and then for the last two we have the scout rifle make sure you use the high velocity ammo otherwise you get disqualified with your lynx and this one has that little bipod and here it works perfectly fine but I absolutely hate this weapon personally because when you're on a slope or on a rock that bipod when you deploy it it completely completely throws off your aim so but some people love it I'm just not one of those people so <laughs> but like I said it's personal so and then the last weapon is also a nice one you can also use the cap lock 50 cal muzzle loader and the big old smoke stick also works for lynx so that's a very fun weapon to use for them as well then finally almost forgot the collars you saw me use the e-collar a lot in this video it has an effective range up to 220 meters and yeah you saw me use it the, the lynx comes in very slowly only down part is when it gets too close to the to the e-collar it knows that it's being tricked and it spooks so that's a bit of a down part of it but it has the biggest range so I mostly prefer that one next it says the jackrabbit collar I personally never really use it for lynx nor for bobcat because it only has 100 meter range and I think the, they come in trotting they come in quite fast so some people love it, I just never use it. I always prefer the e-collar personally. Then you have the motion predator decoy, two of them. And those I think are more ideal to use together with the jackrabbit collar. Because what they do is when they get in view range of the of the motion decoy, uh, decoy they walk towards that and they stand next to that. They stand completely still for yeah short short amount of time 30 seconds or whatever I'm not sure exactly and it also distracts the links a little bit so it's not that alert links are very alert when they when you're when they come too close they see you quite easily and this actually prevents that a little bit then finally you have the urine spray 
and that has a reach up to 150 meters and I mostly use that a lot as well I mostly take the e-collar and uh, the sand spray the urine spray but yeah you try it out and see what you prefer most yourself okay and this brings us to the end of this video I think you heard my annoying voice long enough now so thanks for watching and I hope for Jack this was useful a little bit it wasn't really a awesome guide but I'll make a better more in-depth guide in the future so for now this was uh, this is it so <laughs> thanks for watching and uh, see you guys for the next one